Hi. Let's see if I can get this right. Hi. <laughs> I'm Angelique. I thought I had this set up. So today I am going to show y'all how to um, cut scallops against a bis mold. So this is a mold I made out of clay. It's fired to 04 and then I use it to um, create new forms. So I've already rolled out a slab. I'm just going to gently place it on top. And I call this love taps. So you don't want to smash the clay, you just want to tap it down and start cutting off the excess. And I'm using this uh, metal tool that is kind of like a cheese cutter. And the most important part of this step is that you don't want to crumple the clay. You want to go up and slice it. So, all the way around the bowl and I start almost all of my pieces upside down just like this and then I add a coil foot but sometimes I go ahead and cut the pattern before I add the foot and that is what I'm going to do today I guess for speed I could have gotten this part done but that's all right Again, I'm trying to cut the bowl flat without getting any like major wrinkles. And once you get most of the excess clay off, it gets a little easier. So we're almost there. We'll just smooth it out. All right, so we're gonna go all the way around, and you want to kind of want a smooth line, but it's not super important. All right, that's pretty good. Right? All right, I'm gonna move this a little closer so y'all can see the bowl. There we go. So I have this cool little like scrapey tool that's flat and I'm going to make a line at the bottom so I have like a flat starting point and you want to take it off of the Lazy Susan onto the board so that you know it's level. So I'm going to make myself a line so that I know the top of the bowl will be even. There we go. And now I'm going to put it on top of here again. All right. So this is a lid to the glaze. And these are like little metal round tools. And I'm just going to start tracing a design. I like to alternate them and as it spins around. You'll kind of get an idea of what's happening. should be yeah see how it's starting to come around perfect and actually I'll put this bowl behind me and that is actually what I'm making so after I cut it I'll show you what that looks like finished and what I love about this process is that 
I can use the same mold with the same size bowl, but I can make endless designs. So it makes new forms easier to create and a little bit more fun. All right, so now I like to take a wooden tool and I just kind of mark where my knife is gonna stop. And that is so I don't go further than I want to with the knife because these points are going to be tension points and if the pot's going to crack it's more likely to do it at these spots. So now I have a little small knife and I'm just going to follow the pattern all the way around. And because the mold is hard enough, it's just not using very much pressure. I'm just barely scraping or cutting, I guess. All right. And here we go. All right, so next I'll take a serrated rib and I just kind of erase those lines. I like to call this a memory eraser because it combines those particles of clay. So I'll add a foot, let it dry, flip it over, and then I'll finish it. And then with this finish bowl you can kind of see the edges. You really have to pay attention, get these like nice and smooth. You don't want to leave a big fat edge. But essentially that is this bowl. All right, thanks.